Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Disney Springs. Coming up next. Hey explorers, John with Fun To Be Free inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go! We're here at Disney Springs on top of the Lime Garage. Disney Springs is an outdoor shopping, dining, and entertainment district at the Walt Disney World Resort in Lake Buena Vista, Florida. The 120-acre complex includes four distinct areas, including Town Center, showcasing the town's central business district, featuring Spanish revival architecture from the 1920s, and also the landing, depicting the town's transportation hub and marina with its nautical-inspired buildings. There's also the west side that shows the town's exposition center, having been developed in the 1950s. And finally, there's the marketplace, that is reminiscent of the American craftsman style of the 1930s. Disney Springs has several districts like the town center, the west side, the landing, and the marketplace. There's also the orange garage, lime garage, and the grapefruit garage. Up on the fifth floor of the lime garage are electric vehicle charging spots. Let's take the elevators down to level two and take the escalator down to ground level. Look at the neat fountain just below. We're just coming off the escalator now. We're now at town center. Let's make our way over to the landing. Follow me by heading down this pathway. On the other side of these buildings and through this passageway is the Walt Disney World bus transportation. These buses take you to the Walt Disney World Resort hotels. Just remember to share your pride at the Walt Disney World Resort. We're gonna walk past where Disney Springs derived its name from. As the name implies, we've reached the springs. And here's what it looks like on the other side. We're now in the landing, but if we look just over to the left-hand side and now straight up ahead, it's the Sasa Gula Steamboat Company. Normally there'd be water taxis. But sadly, boat transportation is not operating at this time. We're gonna keep walking down this pathway. Let's walk down this bridge and find the most thrilling attraction here at Disney Springs. There's the bridge that we just walked over, but over here on the left-hand side is where we're headed. See Disney Springs from the air. Over to the left-hand side is the kiosk where you purchase your tickets. Aerofile the world leader in balloon flight. Soar sky high during an eight minute tethered adventure in the world's largest hand painted helium balloon which ascends the heights up to 400 feet. The balloon's basket holds up to 29 people plus the pilot. Each flight offers stunning panoramic vistas up to 10 miles away on clear days. The prices to hop aboard and take flight are $25 for adults and $20 for children. That seems like a pretty reasonable deal considering it's a once in a lifetime opportunity. On the other side of the lake is Disney's Saratoga Springs Resort and Spa. Now let's navigate over to the marketplace. Dinosaurs are just cool. Okay universe, you're cleared for takeoff. We've made it to the marketplace with its large assortment of dining and shopping. The Lego store here at Disney Springs is where you can discover multiple Lego creations. It wouldn't be complete without Sorcerer Mickey. Huh? The 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea called, they want their sea serpent back. Let it go. The force is strong with this one. Walt Disney's masterpiece, Sleeping Beauty. The Lego store is in such high demand, look at the size of this queue. On the other side of the lake is Rainforest Cafe. Let's head over there. The Rainforest Cafe at Disney Springs Marketplace is where you can surround yourself with the exotic sights and sounds of the jungle as you dig into classic American cuisine. Overhead is the volcano with the Rainforest Cafe sign. 
There's the entrance to the restaurant and the gift shop. Let's go inside and take a look. There's the check-in podium. For dinner, Rainforest Cafe offers beef, pork, and chicken entrees, like a Korean spicy stir-fried chicken, a primal steak, a flat iron steak, mojo bones, ribs, steak, and shrimp trio, and a jungle steak and shrimp. You even get to walk through an aquarium into the dining room. Where else can you dine under the stars on the inside of a building? This place is incredible. If you look carefully, it's even raining inside. Atlas has a message for you. Rescue the rainforest. Somewhere over the rainbow. Every now and again, they come alive. <laughs> Check out the cute little baby gorilla. And here's a quick look at the gift shop. Complete with a tropical aquarium behind the registers. The lava lounge at Rainforest Cafe is where you could relax waterside underneath a covered patio while snacking on appetizers and sipping on specialty cocktails. To access the lava lounge, you have to check in at the purple elephant. Here's how we get down to the lava lounge. We have to navigate through this corridor. Let's take a quick look at the bar area. From the lava lounge, you can even enjoy views of the marketplace. Let's see what's on the menu. The lava lounge at Rainforest Cafe has signature cocktails like a Panama Punch, a Corona Rita, a Blue Nile, a Mongoose Mai Tai, a Strawberry Mojito, and a Cheetah Rita. Around the corner is the carousel. It's $5 for two tokens, or one token per rider. Earl of Sandwich is where you could enjoy a 250-year-old royal legacy perfected by the sandwich inventor's descendants. Here's the exterior dining area. Have a look at the menu offerings. For lunch and dinner, Earl of Sandwich offers hot sandwiches, like the Earl's Club. The original 1762, the Chipotle chicken avocado, a tuna melt, the full Montague, and a French dip. Let's go inside and see what they have to offer. There's the queue, the serving stations, and the registers. And here's the interior dining room. Now let's go out these exit doors. Marketplace Snacks is where you can throw a party for your taste buds with the yummy Dole Whip desserts. Let's take a look at the menu offerings. Marketplace Snacks serves desserts like the overwhelmingly popular Dole Whip pineapple float. They also have a regular Dole Whip and even a Dole Whip nachos. This outdoor window location is extremely popular. Behind me is Marketplace Snacks. And up ahead is the Marketplace Co-op. This is where you could browse an eclectic array of some of Disney's most popular brands from art, apparel, and accessories to personalized tech gear and gadgetry, pet items, home decor, and more. Let's see what's inside. Off to the left-hand side is D-Tech On Demand, where you could personalize the phone case and have it printed on a newfangled machine. And the final result will come out something like this. Check out these phone cases. And over on the right hand side is the Disney Cruise Line where Magic meets the sea merchandise. Check out these nautical themed dresses. This location offers a wide array of Disney Cruise Line merchandise. Disney Centerpiece offers home decor items. And the Wonderground Gallery has one-of-a-kind artwork. Inside this location is the dress shop at Cherry Tree Lane, which offers the latest fashion in Disney-style dresses. 
They even have a Tomorrowland themed dress. And it's only $128. Finally, there's Disney Tales, a pet collection. Take a look at this cute dachshund. They have pet apparel and collar accessories here. It's time now to head back towards the Lime Garage. Let's go. By taking this escalator here. We're back. There's a time shift in the space-time continuum. Here we are, back at the Lime Garage again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Disney Springs just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.